Hi guys, we're at David Michaels uh, Jewelers right now in Morriston. Let's go meet the owner now and have a little chat and see uh, what the business has got to offer. Right, we're at uh, David Michaels Jewelers today. Yeah. And, uh, we are with the owner. If you don't mind introducing yourself. Hi there, my name's Kyle Hopkins and I'm the director of David Michael Jewelers. When did you um, take over the company? Um, took over the company approximately three weeks before the first lockdown. Brilliant. So, so it was from your grandfather? Yeah, it was my grandfather David's company. Uh, we've been on Woodfield Street in Morriston since 1974. And how many other branches have you got? Uh, we've also got a branch in Neath on Queen Street and we also so took over in Stuber Brooks Jewelers in Ammonford um, a year ago, October. Oh, brilliant. How are you finding it um, in the market so far since uh, reopening? The, the support has been better than expected. So I think lockdown gave people a lot of time to sit down, think about things and realise that there's still a lot of people working for small businesses um, and a lot of people own small businesses and that they've sort of maybe been neglected last. So since the first lockdown, we found an influx of people noticing small independence, what we do, and coming in and thankfully purchasing from us. So you find it's a bit, it's a bit better now being more hands-on, people coming in because they want to feel like the product itself? Yeah, definitely. And also a big part of our job is repairs. So they like to come in and speak with the people who repairs rather than go somewhere that sends it away and uh, not actually be able to one-to-one -one and explain exactly what they want done so, so we're in the hq right now and for repairs are we we are indeed <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it's it's great because if you've lost a stone in a ring or um you've got a gold chain and the clasp is broken stuff like that people come in and then we can take them through the process of what can be done and how we can save it, alter it, depends what they want really. Um, but yeah, I think they prefer it because the, the counter's only literally five, ten meters away. So people prefer the option to speak to someone who does the repairs rather than it being all written down, put in a bag, sent off and don't see it for a couple of weeks. Oh, definitely. So do you do the repairs yourself? Then? I do indeed. So um, I set stones, alter rings, repair chains. Um, we do make a couple of custom pieces. Um, our handmade wedding rings have proven to be quite popular. So we make them from scratch here in house. Uh, we also make bangles, stuff like that. You know, um, we've also got a 3D printer. Oh, so nice. um, I've got a friend who in the trade who does CAD design. Yeah. So a customer will come in and say, oh, I would like, um, you know, we did a tiger ring. Tiger King was big. Oh, so, really? <laughs> yeah. So um, they wanted a ring with a tiger. Um, so we had it 3D designed, 3D printed it so they could physically see what they were having made. And then when they were happy with it, we made it up in silver. And out it goes. I'd love to show it to you, but obviously the customers had it now. <laughs> Is that one of the weirdest uh, things somebody's asked you to make? Um, yeah, probably the weirdest that I can say on, on camera, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you do get a lot of strange requests. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of work with ashes. So we would either put them in a locket or um, we will melt it in with the gold when making something. Oh, so right. that's another option. Um, but, yeah, the, the, this trade no day is the same. So different people come in and, you, you know, you'd be surprised what people ask. Um, once I had to cut up pieces of gold into thin, almost needle-like shapes to uh, be inserted in a dog's back to help with... Really? Yeah, it was the, the guy um, came and the vet had said that there was this particular treatment. I don't know much about it. Yeah. Um, so that's another random one. But you, you do get pretty random jobs. Um, yeah, I don't really know how that went or what went after. So um, he took the pieces and didn't hear anything of it again. So who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you do get you do get a lot of uh, interest in jobs, or you know, someone will be looking for a specific stone that might not be um, a stone that is widely used in jewelry. So then you've got to track the stone, source it, and uh, make what they want. 
Uh, engagement rings are always exciting. Um, we prefer to make them up rather than have a vast selection in the window. So usually working with the to be fiance and seeing exactly what he wants and then um, making it to his specification uh, rather than just being like, oh, here's, here's a ring. We stock 50 of the same one. Which ones do you want, you know? This is a bit more like, like you said, it's personalised, but is that the most popular type of like item people buy them in here? Or? Um, it, it's really hard to say what's the most popular because the, 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 there's such a variety. You know, we do simple watch batteries. Yeah. So it, some days we can be inundated just doing watch batteries or altering watches. Yeah. Um, we also do a lot of uh, clock repairs, um, but we base that in one of my other shops because the horologist works there and there's more room. Oh, okay. But uh, clocks are just so temperamental things yeah. that uh, it can be really tedious and we get booked up with hundreds in at a time. So we go from a service that we would usually take two to four weeks and then we're quoting three or four months because there is just a backlog of clocks. Oh, really? Yeah, so there's some by here which are due to go over now all right. um, that came in this week. So all three shops take them in but we've only got one guy and all he does is work on watches and clocks and uh, it's, it's slow work, you know, but probably here, the, the, main, the main thing that we're known for in the area is, is repairs. Yeah. You know, as I said earlier, it's, it's just coming in and speaking with someone. Um, it might be a late grandmother's ring that someone wants to wear. Um, it, heirlooms in jewellery can be so sentimental yeah. that they want to know where they've taken it. It's it's not going to move anywhere. It's not going to be sent in the post or there's a chance of something happening to it. Yeah. So the fact that uh, they can come in, bring it into us, the maximum amount of time we usually take, unless a job is particularly intricate, is a week. We I used to do same day service before lockdown. Yeah. After lockdown, I can no longer offer that. I'm booked up for roughly about a week at a time. So uh, usually it's about a week waiting li waiting time now, but I always try and do them quicker. Yeah. But there's only so much you can do in a day. Of course, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I'm incredibly grateful the fact that we've been so well supported from when my folks started. Yeah. Up now, and, you know, people seem happy to come in here. Um, we get loads of customers that will just stick their head through for a, a chat and stroke the dog. <laughs> and uh, then they go off out on their business. So, you know, I, I, I don't feel like I work a day in my life Yeah. because uh, I absolutely love what I do. I love meeting people. I love hearing their stories about um, what item they have, why they brought it in and, and how I can help them. I bet there's a story between, uh, you know, behind thing that yeah, was in really. Pretty much all these here, they all have a, they all have a story. And it's, um, you know, sometimes it's nice to show other people that you care so much about their item as they do yeah um i had a lady that came in at christmas it was pretty spur of the moment but um her husband had recently passed away yeah and she had two grandsons so yeah, but obviously her husband only had one wedding ring so she wanted um the ring remade into two oh, right. um with um granddad engraved on the inside yeah so, so the boys would have something oh, lovely. and um we, we were pretty as, as you can imagine christmas is crazy yeah. so you know we usually quote in stuff like up to two weeks uh for for simple alterations but it's purely because of the amount of jobs in front of it but obviously she needed it for the funeral so uh we made it work yeah we, we got the work done um had to stay after hours so my wife wasn't happy, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we, we managed to get it done and she came to collect them. Unfortunately, I wasn't here, which I was pretty gutted about, but she was just, she just broke down. She was just so happy with how they'd come out and the fact that they looked like a smaller version of his wedding ring. Yeah. Yeah. So stuff like that is great, you know, um, being able to help you help people is um it, it it really brings pleasure in what you do you yeah. know it's it, it it's it's nice especially you know after going through what everybody in the uk has with covid and not seeing people and not seeing family it's nice to know that um when stuff does come in and people want your help 
that you're all there able to sit down, chat to them, understand how they feel about it, because I love jewellery too, yeah. and I have sentimental jewellery. Um, my dad made uh, this bangle for me when, uh, well, I'm 35 now, so quite a while ago, for my 18th birthday. Yeah. And yeah. literally, the only time I think I've ever really taken it off was when I had my tonsils out and had to go to hospital. Oh, it's, really? yeah, um, it's probably the most precious thing I own, yeah. not because of the value, but because of the sentiment behind it. Yeah. And um, it's nice to see that other people have these items that have these stories of so-and-so bought it for them and they might not be here or they might live away. And to be able to give that item a new lease of life or repair it and bring it back up to the standard of when it was purchased. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, um, if somebody was to um, have any of those services or just have a chat, uh, how would they contact you, really? Uh, they can contact us by phone, yeah. um, which is uh, 01792 771 554. Had to remember not to give my house then. <laughs> Uh, we have a website, uh, yeah. www.davidmichaeljewelers.com, yeah. and we have Facebook, which is currently David Michael Jewelers Limited. Yeah. Um, I try to answer messages as, as quickly as I can. Uh, we do get quite a few daily, and it can be hard to uh, to get to them, so I just get yeah. to them where where I can. But I always apologise for being ridiculously late. <laughs> um, but it's just you know we've we've got so much there that um it's all about making sure that you deliver on time because weddings engagements uh, funerals everything has a time scale yeah. and trying to make sure that the customer service is is on is on top is is always key you know sometimes we don't always deliver sometimes real life gets in the way or um a job will take longer because uh, there's unforeseen circumstances within the job, yeah. but uh, we always try to uh, to deliver on time. Brilliant. Well, there you have it. Um, if you've got any questions, anybody, just put comment in the Facebook uh, video.